It is Saturday, September 14th. First car of the weekend. Tomorrow's going to be my nemesis. I'll post it too when I'm done. But this is just a, another freebie. That's me. That's just wet. But just how dull the paint is. You can see the light in there. Just how dull it is. My wife called it a champagne color. Now this is an older used, used car. You can see the little dents right there. It's got bubbling chrome up here headlights are faded don't know if i'll do anything about that but again this is a freebie it's been washed decontaminated so i got it in the garage dried it to about 90 or so percent the back will yeah like this back is rough but again i don't i'm fairly certain this paint should shine it's just dull 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 you can kind of see it shining here but I'm going to first hit it with some Dr. Beasley Z1 just to see if I can make it shine again. Another dent. You can get in there. It is another dent. Just to see if I can make this be the one that makes it shine. If it can make it shine, that's all I'm going to do to it. I'm just going to put Z1 on the whole thing with an orange pad. I have a number of orange pads over here. I am using my new polisher, which I've used on a couple different cars the Randy Doyle what is it called it DB8 the Dynabraid I got that that tells you about the settings on it Randy Doyle I like this it's a forced rotation it's become my new favorite polisher unfortunately I have three other polishers that have been kind of replaced with that one put it fast enough on speed five or six it's gonna mow through this and of course the rotation will never stop uh, and then I can put it down to speed one or two if I want to have it act like a rotary just to finish out something it's really really nice that's uh, my new favorite polisher it's the one I've been using on just about every car I've done recently well that's that let me get on this and hopefully I have to let me get my finger back there's some like little bird poop etching might be able to see it. Right, let me get back to it just for fun. Well, not just for fun. I mean, I was going to do it anyway because I, I, I want to save. Okay, so this car, what I did, I'm just going to use my lights here. So what I did was th the middle was not touched. Let me just kind of go half and half there. You should be able to see the difference even on the camera. So I did this side. I did, I did get off that stupid bump. I did this side with the Dr. Beasley Z1. I did five passes with my, again, with the Dynabraid DB8. I did five passes. Four passes were on speed five. And then on the fifth pass, I went down to speed two. All right. Again, Z1. Now this side, I did the same thing. Five passes, different, uh, different pad. Uh, same pad, though, but it's a different pad uh, with PNS Rehab. Same thing, five passes, four passes on speed five, and then the last pass on speed two. It's kind of funny that when it comes over to here, it focuses on the light. When it's here, it loses focus on the light. That's, that's funny. There we go, I'll focus on the left side. And I'm gonna kind of go quickly here. So from here, now I asked my wife to come out as a second set of eyes. I have picked PNS as the better of the two. I mean, it, it is. If you're standing here where I'm at, heck, you might even be able to see it on the camera. I haven't watched the video yet. It probably does look better. It's obvious, yeah. But, like I said, this car is going to be given to a kid. No telling how well they're going to take care of it. So, other than just doing it for my eyeballs, I think I'm even going to use the Z1. I'm going to not do five passes. I'm going to do three passes. So, I'm just going to use Z1 on the whole car. That way, I can just wipe it and coat it. And I'm going to coat it with uh, Dr. Beasley's 1201. And then after about an hour, I'll probably put some DIY ceramic coat on it. You can even see it. Right there as well. It's 
Oh well, just a little thing, an observation. So let me get coating. I mean, well, it is coating technically. All right, I'm gonna get uh, Z1 applied to the whole stinking car, starting with the stupid, stupid roof. Okay, so it's done. What I ended up doing, <clears throat> I actually did polish the headlights. I mean, they, they're a heck of a lot better than what they were. I just used my coarse wool pad, or my coarse, coarse pad there, and some Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream. All right, I had ceramic gloss out here, but I also brought some Hyper Seal out. All right, so I put Z1, Dr. Beasley's here, and on the top. And then I took that, took that off with, oh my goodness, oh, with ceramic gloss. So I put ceramic gloss. Ceramic gloss is here and on the roof. Um, and it, it turned out well. I mean, the middle is still not as nice as that. But I think a general person looking at the car is not going to notice. That was five passes. That was three passes. That was five passes. In the sun, this is just going to be so shiny for them that it looks so much better than what it did. The front is so etched. It's... Well, beyond help. <clears throat> and the sides, instead of using uh, Dr. Beasley's along the side, what I did on the side was, is I put Uno Protect. So I put Uno Protect on the sides and just did the whole outside of the car. And then when I came back around, I, I wiped it off. And then I came back around, I put some Hyper Seal on it. So I put a nice thick coat of Hyper Seal on it. And that's that. So Z1. Ceramic gloss, Z1 ceramic gloss, rest of the car, uh, Uno Protect from Rupes and 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 Hyper Seal. So if I ever do this car again, I'll know what I put on here. The headlights also have Hyper Seal on them. So I don't know if I want to put anything else on them. I do have a little bit of gloss coat. I should put some gloss coat on there. But I just put Hyper Seal on there. Like I said, freebie. I'm not going to use expensive stuff. Then I just clean the glass. I just clean the outside. I didn't even polish the glass. I just cleaned it with some True View, and that's that. The, what you see on there is on the inside. I don't do the insides of cars. Well, that's that. That's what That was this one. Mission accomplished tomorrow. Again, my nemesis is back. It should just be a wash clay seal, so it should be easy. But I'll still take a second look at it. But it'll just be a wash clay seal. Yeah, this turned out well. Shiner than what it was. That is for sure. And it's a, no, it's a nice giveaway car. Or a daily driver. That's that. Thanks for watching.